Hello there. All good. Okay, we're all here. Let's uh, get underway. Uh, this is the uh, West Newbury Planning Board meeting of Tuesday, February 20th. I have 7.02 p.m. And um, there's at least one name I don't recognize. And mm -hmm. there's an iPhone. I'm not sure who that is, but um, I'll, we'll just introduce quickly um, ch the chair, Brian Murphy. Ray Cook, Planning Board member. Ann Bardeen, Planning Board member. Deb Hamilton, Planning Board member. Tim Cronin, planning board member. Okay. Sue, Br Sue Brown, town planner. There you go. And we all know who we are. That's good. <laughs> um, okay. So uh, we're uh, the first item on the agenda is a continued public hearing at 125 River Road, the uh, Eagle Nest subdivision. Um, I move, I believe I have to open this, right, Sue? And yes, then, that's yes. correct. Um, I move to open the uh, public hearing uh, for the aforementioned address. Second. All in favor? Brian Murphy. Ray Cook, I, I, I see everybody is in, is in agreement. Deb, yeah. Um, so uh, I had a note from Sue mid afternoon that the uh, I'll let her speak, but they want to continue to the next meeting. So maybe you can elaborate. So. Certainly. When I checked in with them today, just asking what their intention was, um, they responded with an email that reads, on behalf of the applicant, we would request this item be continued to the March 5th hearing date. Please let me know if any additional information for this request is needed. Um, I told him that that would be sufficient, but I hope that I did ask in a follow-up if he would let us know what he would be prepared with at that March 5th meeting. So. I just remind everyone that, in fact, our meeting is moved to the 6th because yes. of election day on the 5th. Oh, thank you. Yes. I have to make sure that they're available then and that they know. Thank you. Sir. Yeah. So barring any confirmation from them, um, I move to continue the uh, public hearing at 125 River Road, Eagle and the subdivision to Wednesday, March 6th. Second. At the same time. I heard a second. Yep. Uh, all in favor? Brian Murphy. Rico and Tim. Cronin. And Tim. Milton. Five zero. Uh, and uh, yes, so it's Wednesday, and that's due to the fact that there's a state primary. Is that correct? Yes, election. On the 5th, and we are not allowed to uh, have a public meeting that, that night. Right. One of those regulation things. Okay, uh, so the next item on our agenda is uh, 519 Main Street, the Deer Run, also to be known as the Major Boy Drive. And uh, there's an update, and Sue, why don't you speak to that, if you would? Sure. Um, the, um, Mr. Crow submitted, his engineer submitted the street interim as-built plans, as I guess was requested. Um, so they've moved along, and I did ask for a um, peer review of that, which you have a copy of, primarily just asking them to add additional information onto the plan as submitted. Um, they do, they do, he did share that he had um, two units um, close to under contract, that he expected those to close, and he expected to ask for a, a lot released, what re, lot release um, in, in March. Okay. Um, so, uh, sub I guess earlier in the month we, and we probably have seen the, uh, the, uh, the note from his engineer, Williams and Sparages, um, and then the reply from Meridian and it, and it appears to me that there's still some missing information out there. Is that correct? Yes, I would say he um, identified a fair amount of information that needed to be included on the plan. He did do a, you know, he has been doing the site visits and he believes everything is in place, but he wanted it on the as-built plans as well. Um, could you double, ch well, could you check with, uh, I'm not sure, are you in direct contact with Williams and Sparagis or 
Is it through Meridian? Um, both. Um, well, we we should find out if there's a if there's some issue in in putting that information on the plan. I I'm I don't want Mr. Crow to come in, kind of uh, you know with, with a, a pending closing or something and and uh, seeking some relief from complying with uh, what we've asked for many many months ago. Okay. And I, I'm not saying that in a punitive way, but we have asked and it hasn't happened. And uh, he may be, you know, starting to get some pressure from uh, people that want to you know, close on those units. Okay. Yeah. I'm so happy I, to I do think, that. yeah, we're just nice reminders and uh, probably, uh, you know, next week of a follow up uh, as well, just to uh, nudge them along. Yeah. I have a question. Maybe this is just opening a can of worms. I hope not. Um, these are duplex units. Yeah. But they're on one lot, right? How yeah. does a lot release work for that? You release it and it releases both units? Yes. Okay. That was easy. <laughs> Yeah, and fortunately, you know, that and that is how it'll work with also with the payment to the Affordable Housing Trust, um, because he'll need to submit that payment to get a certificate, uh, you know, a, an occupancy certificate as well. Okay. Um, anything else? People have any other comments on Major Boy Drive? No. Also, 519 Main Street, same thing? No. No? Okay. All right. Uh, good. Moving along. Um, the next item on the agenda is the uh, Housing Opportunities Initiative. And uh, the first subheading on that is uh, the hearing date. Uh, that's a public hearing for the uh, MBTA Communities Multifamily Overlay District, also known as a MCMOD. Uh, that will be on March 19th. Uh, and Sue, I think you had indicated the select board wished this to be a hybrid meeting. They did. They did suggest that was that is um, they would prefer that just to make sure that there's no perception that there wasn't it wasn't an accessible meeting. So I'm happy to to hold down that meeting in the in the hearing room like I did with that one other meeting. I'm sure the select board would probably be in attendance at that as well. Um, so. I'm happy to do that. Okay. Do you That's do you feel example. you would like another board member there with you? I believe that the regulations are if the board is either there or it's all apart. And I can double check on that. I, I, I'm I'm comfortable doing I, it. I have some vague without, recollection but... that one member needed to be there along. Oh. But okay, so... I I could be. All right. Let me you know, get we... confirmation on that then. Well, although we, we, to be fair, we have held one of those and, and you were the only one there, I think, right. with, uh, on the, uh, one of the kennel hearings. Yes. But no, let's just double check. Yeah, we're checking. Yeah. I'll um, be at it, but I should be able to tune in from Colorado. Okay. Um, do we, do we need to kind of, your market time on this. I mean, I, I'm thinking we should probably try and do this first, especially also if we um, have another continuance or, you know, there, there'll still be another hearing on the River Road subdivision, but mm -hmm. we could put them after it. I, I think we should go first. Yeah. And would you want to do, it'll be for both the amendments for the, the definitions and for the MCMOD. So, would you want to hold the definitions portion first or? Um, that shouldn't take that long, should it? I wouldn't think. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sure, yeah. Unless someone else has another opinion about that. No, nope. okay. Uh, so we will we'll firm it up, but that, that's, that I think sounds fair and reasonable to me. All right. Um, so, um, our, our 
topic of frequently asked questions. And, and I think we're close to where we are able to at least put this list out. Maybe you want to share this and go over this again? Sure. Yep. Can you see that okay? Yes. A little bit bigger would be greatly appreciated. Yeah, I, I'm so getting I my new glasses that. tomorrow. Yeah, oh, yeah. And I learned something. I believe that you can make it bigger on your end as well. Okay. Yes. The I'm same way that I can. Okay, I hadn't tried that. Yeah, I didn't. I just learned that at a recent webinar when I was having trouble seeing the screen. Okay. Well, how, how do we do that? Yeah, you, I don't know how to just, do that. The I same way I can use two fingers and make it bigger. Oh, interesting. I think it's just the same way the control, yeah. the control and scroll. Fingers works too. Oh yeah, control. Yeah. Does that work for y'all? Does thank you. I mean, I hope that it's large enough so that anyone can see it. But if you, uh, yeah, just... I, I can't move <laughs> it, but I... I can see down through. Why did the state pass this law? Is that right. all everybody can see? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So um, it's just kind of, we'll say if anybody has a question or comment. Or any corrections. And again, I, I, I spoke briefly with Sue today. I mean, we, we can put this out there and over the next week or two, or even at the, from the public hearing, add as things may come up. You know, this was, uh, this was on, um public radio recently i forget the name of the community milton is making a big mess oh yeah, yeah. they voted it down yeah well they voted it in in their town meeting last december i think it was and then they it's a group uh exercised their right to run a referendum and the referendum failed so right clubs are really off I think the new portion that we added um, that you maybe that we hadn't discussed in a public meeting um, is kind of the last. But is it likely that all 87 units would right. be built, which is kind of wordy, but <laughs> kind of necessary. And I and I gave you and we could do all those words or we could keep it more simple. <laughs> um, with the second one, and I'm happy to have your, you make that call. Well, I, I would like to see something, even a sentence. I mean, I think people are going to still focus on 90 bedrooms and think that that's 90 units. Um, that we we make some guesstimate that uh, it, it, it will likely be in the 30 to 40 unit. Or, or up to a maximum of some 40 units. <coughs> Anybody think we should do something like that? Or Yeah. I might italicize the word bedrooms. Would that just make it worse? No. Yeah. no. 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 I think that, that's better. 30 to 40 I, units are likely. Yeah, I, I actually, I would take out uh, the word likely. Yeah. And you might say housing units. Mm-hmm. Yeah, maybe that's you don't need that if you don't need italics if you've clarified. Okay. Yeah, I I, it, I just think, yeah, that that helps the. I think you mean parentheses. Yeah. No, I meant I had suggested italics. I withdraw my suggestion. Okay. <laughs> it was a good one. Though. I I like the first paragraph that you've been working on here. Uh, I would delete though the last sentence. Um, which one? Where it so says, was... The Mi'kmaq district Where... has maximum capacity of 134 units. Yeah. Just... Oh, okay. That was a, a Dylan suggestion, I do believe. I looked back at his stuff today. It, it's it just was. A confusing. Yep. It is confusing. I just didn't want to be. Yeah. No. And, then I, <laughs> and then I would just eliminate your or your alternate language there. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I think this is this is good. Thank you. 
Now, I think in this case, more specific data is our friend. Yes. Good. Do need to pull that. I do. Yeah. How did that get over? Did there? we define MICMOD anywhere before it's referred to there? Yeah, Again, I just people need to know what what that stands for. I think it's at the very beginning, isn't it? Where Maybe did I see that. I thought I thought we put that in, but let's check. Maybe we put it in something else. There it is. Where? Oh, right here. Is yep. it proposed? Yeah. Multifamily. Oh. Oh, yeah. Well, MBTA communities, multifamily overlay district. Okay. Thank you. I don't you. know why I put the question in there. <laughs> <laughs> So this does uh, bring the elephant right into the room. Clarify when decided. When are, when are right. we deciding? <laughs> LTBD, huh? Shouldn't there be a question mark after the outside the parentheses? Oh, there maybe that's what it was supposed to be. Thank you, Dan. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. How about in the right under, is it likely that all 87 units would be built? Mm -hmm. People think about saying any proposed development would face. Again, this is all, it's really kind of hypothetical. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Would is better. Yes, would. Yeah. Or might. No. No, they will always face them. It's, but it's a question of whether or not there will be any development. Right. Oh. I'm, uh, I'm way down at the bottom there. Okay. Okay. Item, uh, how was the proposed bylaw developed? Mm -hmm. There should be a comma after a design and planning firm. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I'm glad you put in all of the public meetings we've already held. Yeah. Uh, to forget mm -hmm. all that. Look at that. Yeah, because people get uh, all upset and say, you're just springing this on us. Yeah. And it's yeah, like, well, no, it's, no. It, it is the, uh, yeah. You can add today's meeting. <laughs> As you're about to. Do. <laughs> I believe we were also discussed it on in February. What was the? Yeah, the sixth. First on the sixth. Six. Yeah, I would say so. Easy enough to find out. 2024. Today's the we, 20. We, oh, we, we could probably, probably even add in, in each meeting until. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, I know, but. but I know, I know. Accurate. I know. Yeah. I, I, I know. As of today. We've, yes. Okay, how was the districts? I just had a question okay. about that last sentence on that page. Let's see these Over. maps. Oh, okay. It continues on the next page. Uh, show positive attributes. I'd probably put some sort of a heading at the top there. So, you know, attribute, you know, on, on the second page. Oh, okay. I, I, I do some sort of a yep. continued some whatever it is. Yeah, is appropriate. Well, you can fix that whenever right. or add. I will. <laughs> yeah. Can I add add close parentheses mm -hmm. at the end of that sentence, so if you would, where it says others. Mm. Thank you. Can I suggest something about the dates? Sorry to go back yeah. up. Sure. Can we say uh, presentations and discussion at planning board meetings in 2023 and 2024? Yeah, do that. Yes. That's be kind of confusing about why we're hearing about more than one of this and that date. Yep. Thank you. Yep. That's good. I was, sure. That was my day too. Okay. Now, where are we? I think that reads fine. I mean, it, it, it just goes from one page to the next. <clears throat> no. And I can put it That's all on one if you prefer. Want to make the page break above that? Yeah, I could All right, do, that. do that. Yeah. There we go. Something weird happened to your font there on those two last bullets. Yeah. Well, look at that. 
that came from this yeah. place. Also. Oh, it's the same here. Yeah, it's probably because you're under heading Maybe something. Yeah. Yeah, you can check that off. No, it says for the no. You said the three sites. It says list. Are you going to list? Mean, them? We're going to list them, or oh, so or is that C where list? after further value of three sites, right here? Yes. Yeah. The board determined to prepare. Well, just sites. take the word. Take the word three out of it. After further evaluation of sites. Yeah, and take the word list out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I I didn't know if what that meant. Good, I, I got you. What, yeah. I think what it meant was the three that were we're going to list the three. Oh, the, yeah, were including the Mullen property. Ah, ah, okay. So you refer to the, the three sites in that sentence right above. I don't know if you want to mention what the three sites were. Does it matter? Um, well, that's what we're discussing, right? <laughs> yeah. After further evaluation of sites. The boards, the board. Um, Focus. The After. fourth came to the conclusion that two sites were practical. Concluded. Concluded, yeah. Concluded that, two... that, concluded that two sites were practical or, or would would work or would be appropriate, would be appropriate. Yep. And I also suggest that these two paragraphs that are further indented, if you will, with the hollow, the empty circle, mm -hmm. aren't really sub to anything. I think these are really three equally weighted points. I think okay. one, two, three. I don't know if anybody else cares, but. Um, no, I, I I agree. I think that's yeah, that kind of a process. You know, these are steps right. in the same process, I'd right. say. She's so good at moving stuff too. <laughs> oh, I just, <laughs> just like watch to see her that. work. It's so yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> I think we know what the Mullen property is, but do you want to just put the address there or something? Just so I would accept the address is zero <laughs> Main so Street. Zero Main Street. <laughs> I don't yeah. think I that would put help Main people. Street. I don't, I don't um, I on that line, uh, town owned should be hyphenated. Yes. Uh, where is is it on this third it's line down? Second bullet. Second, Second bullet, bullet, third line. Down on the get you. Thank you. And the same thing with head to head below, which you can probably right click and it'll offer it to you. Oh. Sure will. So let's see. Mullen address. It would be good to somehow identify it. Hmm. I would say that, uh, yeah, okay. I would just say on the uh, what side is that? Like the north side of Main yeah, Street. side of Main Street. That's that covers a lot of ground, though. Let's see. <laughs> Can you say opposite Daily Drive, which is pretty much there it. you go. Right. Yep, so, as a suggestion. Yeah, that's good. Yes, that's helpful. So at least in that area, anyway. Yeah. Good. I thought, and the last bullet, I thought we sort of arrived at 317 Main Street. Am I just misremembering? Well, there has not been a we, we haven't decided. Decided conclusion. Right. I'm back up in the second paragraph. I think we've got some confusing parentheses. <laughs> oh, that, okay. That's all about why it isn't. Right. Town owned and doesn't have a street address. No, no, no. That that's one thing, and then it's also town owned. Mm -hmm. Should we? Should does that warrant two sentences, or are we just trying to get through that? Yeah, maybe it's fine. Identified as you know what I would do. I would say short of significant. It seems to run on ish. Yeah, here's how. Here's here's my suggestion. Yeah. Is that the state is town owned? And and then 
eliminate the opening parentheses. And identified as non developable by the state. Period. Uh, <laughs> period, yeah. Or, or w without significant legal actions? Significant action. I don't know. It's, it's not really a short explanation. It isn't. <laughs> Could just say the state the state criteria whatever that office is called now right yeah we could also say identified as the such and such office as, as it's not that it's right. not developable that's going to give people the wrong impression yeah that's true as, as it's not developable under this under mbta criteria uh, yeah right the dhcd criteria yeah um we i could say non-compliant Non-compliant with the MCMOD restrictions. Yes. Yeah. 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 Yes. MCMOD regulation. Well, this MCMOD's what we're doing. It's MBTA right. community that are this. That's the state's. Uh, shall we say stick? Mm -hmm. Non-compliant as a MCMOD. Well, I, I think it's just under the MBTA Communities Act. Under the MBTA Communities Act. Okay. Hmm. Compliant. With the MBTA criteria, not yeah, I think it's the criteria. It's not really the act so much. It's the criteria that the DHCD regulation developed. Okay. Forgot a T in regulations there. <laughs> I, I still don't. like criteria better. Yeah, it's not <laughs> the regulations, Sue. I, I don't think it's regulate. I think it's just the criteria. I think it's the DHCD criteria. Okay. That, that that if it's town owned, it it right it has to be something has to be going already. Yeah, right? it has to be actively <clears throat> being sold, purchased, or yeah. sold or developed. Right. I like this under the MBTA communities criteria. Sounds good. Yep, I think that's. If someone really wants to get into it. We can elaborate. Yeah. Provide their phone numbers mm -hmm. and they can explain themselves. You know, and the last sentence there too, uh, yeah. to simplify things. Take out that 40 hour stuff. <laughs> I would just say are limited to a maximum of 20% affordable housing. Yeah, but not under this. Not, not, right. right. I would take out that whole last clause because that is not related to what we are talking about, which is. Well, we were yeah, communities, right? Well, we were talking about the fact that the town has historically wanted yes. a significant portion to be affordable. Yeah. But, but uh, okay, yes, yeah, so maybe and, just. But MBTA uh, limits us to ten percent, and and that's okay. what we're talking about. Why we selected the district because it didn't help us enough, among other things. It didn't help us. Yeah, so limited, that, right? limited to ten percent. Yeah. I, I'd like to just go back to where historically wanted. How about historically desired? Well, there's some nuance there I'm missing, Brian. What's that? <laughs> what I'm just saying the word wanted. Yeah. I don't know. Ever since you were in trouble with the law, you got a problem with that word wanted. <laughs> wanted. Yes. Wanted. There you go. Get her alive. <laughs> no, don't. I, I thought I thought that bounty hunter was off your back, Brian. There you go. Right. So three A. Are people going to know what that? No, I don't remember. Three A is. No, they're not. Under what three is A? You, three you A. Just have it. Go back. Is? After. I don't see any three A anywhere. Is that not? Is that not under there? I don't know. Tell me what three A is, and maybe I'll know. You can say, but <laughs> three A is the the is the MBTA Communities um, Act. You 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 could say. Uh, Let's see. Take but Mi'kmaq districts are limited to a maximum of ten percent. That sounds good. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Mid Mi'kmaq districts. Instead of zoning which districts, which are by definition. Yeah. Okay. I, I think Ray but it's is a little bit better. Mi'kmaq districts. We don't uh, have anything about 3A because we're only talking about, right? Yeah. 
It wouldn't so be it, in my it would read, uh -huh. it would read, is to be built on the Mullen property, comma, but Mi'kmaq districts are limited to 10% affordability. Or districts under the MBTA Communities Act, whatever you want to call it. I mean, Mi'kmaq is... It's a mouthful. I... People look at that, they'll just, what, their eyes are going to roll. roll. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I know. That I think that's pretty succinct. Or I could Is just it? say multi. I, I'm fine with it. MBTA communities, multifamily districts. No, because no. Micmod actually is district. That. Or, oh, or you could just say, oh. but these districts are limited to ten percent. I mean, everybody knows what yes. we're talking about, right? Yes. Yes. Well, the, or no. MBTA districts. How about this? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There you go. Okay. That's good. Clearer, yes. Yes, it is. Good. Um, and I think we should attach names to the two sites. Sure. 137 okay. and 317. Good idea. Like the parentheses. Yeah. Okay, and should I do that way back here when we're first talking about them as well? Good idea, yep. Yeah. I think at the top you yeah. talked about them. So I think if you go up to that prior page. So this was, I th is it this one? Three no. Slides? I thought you had one in the first page there. There, there it is, yep. Where? One, 147, 317. Very sure. top of oh. the screen. Okay. The other time you said it was 137. Is it 137 or 147? Oh, I think it's 137. Oh, now I, I get it. I'm going to have to check. <laughs> sure. I'll look, up, I'll look it up. Do we want to, to identify those? This nap yes. And right. Yes. Yep. Yes. Um, so 137 Main Street, nap. It's funny because since neither of those businesses is running, you arrived in town in the last couple of years. You might not know what the words right. "nap" and "defy" yeah. at all. I guess Should the sign's I... still up at "nap," but right, yeah. you still get the sign up. Yeah. They write "nap greenhouse" or seventeen. No, the sign's still there. Done. Oh, okay. A little. Oops. A little well, naps doesn't nap say Noonan, or did they ever change it? No, they never changed it. It's always been naps. Yeah, never changed. They weren't. Their heart wasn't in it. Let's face it. <laughs> Now, one, you've got the word before Main Street and the other. Yeah, I'm moving it. <laughs> Oops. Yeah. And then let's use just use nap and done later, don't you think? Instead of the, sure. Especially because the numbers are so similar. Right. I don't see 137. No, I think it was 147. I think, it I think might it's be. 147. Um, I don't see 147. I, the, uh, I've got there. What's the abutter's name? He corrected it when we were on our last meeting. The, I the owners. I'm, I'm checking now. I can, yeah, I can look at right here on mapping. I should know this. I, I think just because they have such similar numbers, I it's Carl I commit. Mosey. You set us straight, but I forget what it was. Okay, so what are we thinking? 137 is one of them? It's 187. There he is. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> 187, we were way off. It is 187. And who yeah. said 187? 187 is correct. Whose voice was that? I think it's the same person who told us before. It's embarrassing that we don't remember. I know. That is... Thank we you. just yeah. know it by naps and, and then done. <laughs> Right. Good thing we're not delivering the mail. Yeah, we got to double check and make sure that I don't have it somewhere else. One eighty-seven. Thank you. And, and and who owns it now? Is it somebody in the Knapp family? I yes. think it's still owned by the same owners. Yes. The Marshall family. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, so Marshall, not Knapp. That's right. It was 
the Knapp greenhouses. I don't know why. It's right. <laughs> business name when they acquired it, I think, but yeah. I won't speculate. Yeah, there we go. 187 Main Street. Yeah. I'll buy that. <laughs> Okay, so the last paragraph, we still have some question marks. Yeah. Dave and Judith Marshall. So I assume you'll you'll revisit all this formatting, but now that everything absolutely, yeah, <laughs> yeah, not much much uh, a top margin on this page. Yeah, the Marshalls well, have had it since nineteen seventy four. Yeah. For twelve thousand dollars. It was a different world, Deb. Actually, 1965. Thank you. <laughs> well, the last the last sale is recorded here as being in 1974. Yeah, that maybe was my house. Though. That was trust. that was misrecorded. That's 175 Main. Oh, yeah. No. Who are you? Uh, this is Carl. Carl. Since since we still have not voted, and and I'm thinking I'd rather wait for the next meeting, mm -hmm. but I would like to get this done. I would take out the last sentence. We're Got not going to put in a site. That's right. Let's just take this out for now. Who knows after the public hearing where we'll end up. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm trying to hold this off as long as, and well, I, I have another comment on this, but I'll let's finish up with this. So do you want to say here, the board is currently evaluating no. Yes. Uh, well, no. yeah, yeah. I don't want to leave yeah. them with the look. We'll either keep both or we'll pick one, but right. we are evaluating. Mm -hmm. I think that's a fair statement. Yeah. Yes. This this, in in my view, is a work in progress, and you know we'll tweak as we may need it. But I think yep. it's important to get something posted on our site about this. Yes. I, I, well, and also that we're still looking for public input. I, I think that that's yes, that's a compelling reason for getting this out there. Yeah, and, I, yeah. and I'll talk about that in a minute. But press. Yeah. Now this is great. This will uh, unleash some phone calls to Sue. I suspect. Yeah. <laughs> I told Sue, uh, you know, I, oh, by the way, I, I, I have taken my papers out. I'm going to try and be around for another few years. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Brian. But, um, and I, I, I hit my neighborhood hard last week. Uh, where the weather was more conducive and got lots of signatures. Yeah, I, but I was, I put you over, it was me that put you over the top. Ray, I gra grabbed, I tackled him as he was leaving town <laughs> offices. <laughs> um, but um, I was By pleasantly the way, that Bruce, surprised. That Bruce doesn't show. <laughs> I I was surprised. Um, a number of folks asked questions about this, so somehow they're, you know, whether they read about stuff in the Globe or some. I'm I'm not sure how, but but it, it, there wasn't a total ignorance of of this. Uh, so I think that's that's a good sign. They they um, weren't questioning you about term limits, huh? Uh, no, no. Well, I, I had a few. I, like, are you really doing? What are you? What are you thinking? <laughs> I've had a few of those, but most yeah. of those people are. Uh, I mean, they, they they've known me forever, so it's more of a just thing. Yes. Um, I did want to say that the uh, there was an article in the in the the Daily Snooze uh, by a different reporter about the. Uh, um, affordable housing trusts participation at the uh, recent seminar we had mm -hmm. um, and I can't remember her name but Sue maybe you could try to dig up that name I think we should reach out to that person um, I, I was disappointed that that person didn't cover any other topics from the the meeting but it was a nice article about the affordable trust and things that were being contemplated um, oh. uh, by that group. Hmm. Uh, I think Wendy was quoted a couple times and uh, whatnot. Okay. Okay. So, and, and I'll, I'll be happy to actually reach out to her, Sue, if you like, but I, 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 the paper's gone now. And again, I don't know who in town get, I share it with my neighbor. Uh, so, uh, 
but it's the first time I've seen somebody since Gentil uh, kind of sailed on. Mm. Yeah, they did send somebody to that meeting, apparently. I wasn't aware so, of it at the time. Yeah, we, we could do something, and I'd be happy to talk to that person about this. And having the FAQs would be a, a, a great start for a, yes. a, perhaps a recent article. I mean, they, they run articles about stuff in Peabody and Salem, and who the hell cares about that? But anyway, don't get me going. Brian did um, suggest that it was that we send it out in a blast. When we send out a, a blast that, about the hearing that we could attach this as a, the, the FAQ as a, um, as an attachment to that. So I'm happy to, to do that. Yeah, yeah those again, usually have a, a, you know, read more kind of a prompt on them. I, I had at least two people say, oh, I, I, I get information on the email from, from the town mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, how, how are you doing on this stuff or, or what, you know, you can, oh, yeah. So emails from the town are great. It's a small sample, but mm -hmm. yeah, it, it left me feeling that, okay, there's a few people paying attention. Mm -hmm. um, okay. So are we, uh, we're all set on that, Sue, I think for the I moment. I believe we are. Yep. Board members. Okay. Um, the next item is a uh, the district comparison. I didn't have anything else to add to what we had already done, but others may want to take a look at that. Did anyone want to take another look at that? Yeah, we should look at it. Can you see it okay? Yes. Yes. There's a strengths and challenges of the location. What are we calling this? Um, I just call it a comparison mm -hmm. matrix. You know, if you're doing proximity to the high school, I mean, I think it's right only here. fair to, to include proximity to the churches. Well. Oh. Which for uh, three seventeen kind of flips them. Would that be similar to? Should I add it to? Wait, town do we have certain... the addresses wrong at the top? I got it right. Yeah. <laughs> at the top. This not surprised, Sue. No, no, no. At the top of the column, see how it says three seventeen Main. Those are correct. No, that's right. I think. It was the we, 137 we that was it, that was not right. It was 187. Do, do we really think that the proximity of the churches is a criteria we should be evaluating? I could also add it. Well, you could just add it there. Retail services, post office, and churches, they're all in yeah, that. I, I, I think that's, spot, that's right. Fine. Yeah, yeah. I don't think it needs a whole. Adequate. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. Okay. Let's face it, the main one is pizza. So, yeah, <laughs> they're back open. I saw the open. Oh, oh, are they good? That's good. I yeah. was, I, I was really impressed by how the town stepped up to help out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I, I didn't. I wasn't. I was at the post office, but I, 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 I guess George must be back, or or they got somebody else in there. I don't know. What's mm -hmm. the, uh, the, uh, the pedestrian access? slash amenities topography makes the access more challenging did we really so so pedestrian access onto the site um and through the site i think is what we were talking about well that was a comment that was brought up uh in the discussion an in-depth discussion of done uh where it was pointed out that because it's the development would be up on top of the hill that that would be you know a less um easy walk perhaps down to main street i don't know how much i yeah but the buildings would be down at the lower level no yeah, but you everything, like the... um, yeah. and john uh, everything's up top everything's up or at least in the in that concept wouldn't necessarily yeah, be yeah nothing... but i think if you're thinking about throughout the site 
pedestrian but access not, throughout the site. Well, once you're up on the site, I, I don't think it's going to be very hilly. I mean, that doesn't make sense. I'm not no, sure that, getting to it. Happy yeah, to I'm not sure how much I feel like that's, I don't know how big a deal I think that is. I would just delete that line. That that's just that's just what I think. Because I mean you still have potential for sidewalk connection and access too. So right. Is that is everyone good with that? Yes. Yep. Okay, we've got to decide how we're spelling site here. Yeah, sight oh. lines. Is, <laughs> no, yeah. that's that is not. I think that's well, correct. actually, this is correct, but then yeah, the other one here is yeah. not. Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. yeah, I'm a landscape architect. Site is always S I T E by default. <laughs> there yeah. we go. And the same with uh, the green one. Oh, yep. <laughs> Thank you. So I don't understand. Let's see, the one on the left is done. Yes. Due to due to long straight stretch of road when, when traveling east to west. I mean, the stretch of the road is the same length and straightness whether whichever direction you're traveling. Now, uh, that confuses me. <laughs> yeah, I think the volume is. Wow. Well, I don't know. I think it was a sight line issue. I don't think it was a, a, yeah. sorry, a speed issue. I mean, I think you can get up a good head of, you can get some good speed going down by nap too, because there's nothing that, you know, it's all Main Street. I, I, I don't know. I don't, at least around done, you're sort of slowing down for Maple Street and you're slowing down for the food mart and you're slowing Yeah, that's what I was thinking. You know, it seems a little bit. And because people are parking along Main Street there. I I tend to slow down because there's a bunch of people parked on Main Street and I'm worried yes. about the door flying open in front of me. Yeah, it's usually one and a half lanes when I'm going down there. Yeah. The insurance office, they're always parked along there. Yeah, I don't know. That, that... I, um, I think there's more volume at the Dunn site than there is at the uh, NAP. Because of Bridge Maple. Street. Because of Maple uh, and Bridge and Bridge. Uh, Church Street. I'm sorry. Church. Church. Yeah. We've got Church and Maple um, that are, are feeders and, and people turning, yes. entering, et cetera. There's definitely more volume there. Well, I, I, I would break it down then into two different light items. Volume, items. Speed, said, yeah. Yeah, volume expected to be greater. Volume of traffic expend to be higher. Um, but then I would say that the speed of traffic should be slower. Well, it would have to be measured really. See, this is a tricky one because we <laughs> we focused on Main Street because it is a, a you yes. know, a, yeah. a road and it's got water and all those things, and yet it comes with this too. So hmm. I, I wouldn't even go into the details here. I'd just say volume expected to be higher, and I would say speed expect, and, and then green speed expected to be lower, somewhat lower. And by saying expected, we're we're not claiming that we know it is. Yeah, I think you have to slow down there because there's so much going on in the area. And then on the other, yeah, I'd, I'd say the, the exact opposite. Volume is less. Volume is less. Speed may be higher. And again, I, I would, on the left, I'd say volume of traffic expected to be less than. I hesitate to say anything definitive. I'm not sure you even need, need to say of traffic because it's already the heading of the column. Mm -hmm. nope. And I would say just to be less. Mm -hmm. um, or traffic expected to be less.
Yeah, simple. All subject to study, of course. Yeah. Again, I don't know if you want to say somewhat to make it truly equivalent. Oh. But doesn't matter. Yeah. Fine. yeah, and I think the next the next thing is fine. The site that has a history of traffic, I think that's fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's actually kind of a good point. Intersections. Yeah, because there are a lot of accidents at that Church Street intersection. And and I'm not I don't live at this end of town, so there the whole thing with Harrison and Pleasant that's not an issue. Well, that's what I brought up, Ray. I think it it is kind of an issue, um, but you know what was explained was that the egress, uh, you know, and entrance would be at a different location, so it wouldn't be opposite one of those streets. But it is kind of an issue. Right now, it's sort of opposite Harrison. Well, right. it should yep. be opposite. It should be. Should be opposite. Yeah. Well, then the, other, the other Church street is spelled wrong. Oh, I'm sorry? Yeah. And Pleasant does is not impact the property at all. I don't think, I think you're right. If if the entrance is on the other end, Brian, yes. Oh. And Pleasant's one way anyway. So it's automatically. No, you mean no. Harrison. Um, Harrison's one way. Oops. Yes. So it's, it's not good. one way. It's not one way in. Yeah, that's not know. accurate. It, you just have to take a right turn at the end of it. Oh, is but that it's right? actually two but ways. It is. Okay, right. Oh, but, it, oh. but it does have limited, it doesn't discharge onto Main Street in the same, it, both yeah. of them, both Harrison and, what is it? I can't think Most of Most people take Pleasant. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's, yeah, okay. You can only take a right turn at Pleasant. I, I, Harrison. When you come out, Harrison, you come yeah, out. That's so you're not, okay. yeah, so you don't add to the burden going toward. So I Brian, see. you're saying yeah. that's where the street would be opposite. That, that's that where we, I think we oh. we've looked at it. No. Yes, I thought the other one it would be opposite the east. No, it, it can't be opposite Pleasant. Pleasant. It uh, isn't. It's too. It, Pleasant's beyond the property line. Oh. It just Pleasant is just barely beyond. Yeah, Harrison opposite Pleasant really Street is a. It, there's a house. Facing the intersection. I think either one of them really lines up. I think you're right, Anna. That's why I think I was thinking it would be between them. Actually. Yeah, I think it's between. Really? Yeah. Well, you, that's where you've got a bit of wetland and uh, trees. Right. And whatnot. Right, but I, it would be in between. Are you sure? Anyway, there will be traffic well, studies. That, that's happen. up to the a developer yeah. anyway. Right. Yes, and well, un, under intersections on the right, yes. you can put in red, you can say concern regarding proximity to Harrison and Pleasant Street, Harrison Avenue and Pleasant Street. Doesn't doesn't mean that it's going to be a deal killer or anything. It's just a concern. Mm -hmm. Well, and you yeah. will hear from those residents if you don't list it. Yeah. It's actually Harrison Avenue. Oh, thank you. And I don't think you need to say intersection. It's kind of, maybe you do. Or, yeah, it's fine. And by the way, this, this is, this is, Good, because I mean it. It's showing that it's not easy. No, this this decision and and things are pretty balanced. Pros and cons. Yeah, I think until you get to the the physicality of the site is of site care. I think this is the the site characteristics. Yeah, more challenging mm -hmm. on one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, hang on. Where are we? Sorry. <laughs> I'm seasick. Seasick. Willy nilly scrolling. <laughs> Let me know if you want me to. Yeah, scroll a little more. A little more. Let's see more. Thank you. By the way, Water X uh, on the right, uh, cell F14, Water Access, 
good. I don't know if fire should be capitalized and adequate is missing any. Yeah. In both so cases. F14. D as well. Oh, yeah. That's how I say it. <laughs> <laughs> so what does water access good mean? That, that's from the Tata report. So that just means that there's, we have water we access. Have water. <laughs> what does it just say water access? <laughs> so what does that mean? I don't understand. We have a bigger main. Access to water, public water. The Tata you can report, just, you can just say. Water, they had water I available. See. Yeah. All right. So can we say public water available? I don't yes. know. Access to public water supply. Access is to public gotcha. water supply. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Right. Yep. Yeah. Okay. There you could. You All could right. just. Yeah. That's fine. That's fine then. So I, I don't mean I don't remember this report. So, what is this distinction we're talking about? Fire flow. So the distinction is because um, the NAP property is closer to the water tower. It has greater pressure at that point. The infrastructure there, um, going, looking at the flow analysis that they did was adequate for wire suppress water suppression without really changing to infrastructure. Um, they would need to change the pipes a little bit at the done site because the fire flow is not quite sufficient there. It's not a game stopper. It was just, and it was a, a small what? difference. But the fire so flow in all over town have these compromised locations that right. rarely are talked about. Right. And it yeah, it depends on oh. the the distance you are from the from, from the, the source pressure, from the pressure head really yeah. distance and elevation. So this one just would need some upgrades to to the system. This one. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure there are a ton of assumptions do. that go in there about oh absolutely you know, kind of number of units. About. Yeah, it's exactly. all it, yeah. it's all. It was a high level that. report. Yes. Yeah. It, it is on the site. It, it's it's on our website. Mm -hmm. We we did look at it briefly. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know if okay. you were around or not. I'm happy was, to resend it. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. It's yeah, I just I don't remember <laughs> talking about it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It was very high level. Okay. So where were we? Other. <laughs> That's just unknown. The only thing I would say is in cell uh, G16, I would just say from Main Street, and I would delete that on done site. Mm -hmm. I don't understand in C16. I don't know what, I don't quite know what that means. So would it be visible or not? It wouldn't be visible. And then development at front of site. I think would the idea, if you were looking at it from the concept plans that were done, um, much of the development much wouldn't the be visible because of the topography and you know what I would do. And I get it. that, but I don't understand the development at front of site. Do there wasn't going to be any, was there? Isn't it all? Well, well, I I would just eliminate that second sentence altogether and just say much of the development. Yeah, would not like be would not likely be visible or something for Main Street. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Dunn was also the one where they contemplated doing a mixed residential and commercial building up toward the street. Nope, that they? was NAP, I think. So, yeah. Sort of um, in the spirit of the current, you know, the way the... Right, right. Is. But this is done. I think yeah. either, either one of them could opt for yeah. a building that's similar in character to, the, to what's around it at the front of the site, you know, kind of the rambling farmhouse. Um, right. Motif, but I mean, it's all project, you know, conjecture at this point. Yeah. And, so and is that, are those fair statements then? 
well, if they end up putting something right on Main Street, then we won't have been totally honest about this. Uh, well, the, I it's think much, done much, zoning, excuse me, yeah. I think done zoning is in the commercial district, and I can't remember if NAP is. It, 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 most of it is not, Deb. Okay. Just a piece of it is. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I think the statement, you know, much, yeah, there might be something. I mean, okay. You know, Right. It's, this is mostly about topography. Let's face it. This yeah. isn't about. Yeah. Okay. Never mind. You see the, the bottom, too. I'm sorry? Keep scrolling? Is that what you're scroll saying? Scroll up a little bit, yeah. Oh, scroll up or scroll back? Down. Scroll, no, just or, up. I'd like, to see, I'd like to see drainage a bit more. Um, am I headed in the right direction? No. No. <laughs> okay. Now you are. Perfect. I think in the red one and D, whatever the number is there. This one? Do we could we eliminate at least one of those considerables? Um, not oh. from listening to the abutter speaking. <laughs> well, that's true, yeah. I, I think there's substantial yeah, concern. Oh, maybe there. that's yeah, that's true. He's got the water flowing through He's his got yard. The water through his yard. Yeah. Um, okay. And there's a little pond on the uh, corner of the right, property. Right, right, I forgot about uh, that. Yeah. yeah. Eyewitness account. Thank you. So the placing buildings on the topography, um, th there is a big flat area at the top. So what, yeah. Do you recall what that's referring to? Um, topography. Topography, the red one. See the red yep. one? That, yeah, there it is. D. Okay, yeah. Elevation changes. Yeah, yeah, see where it says Sounds placing awesome. buildings? It, yeah. yeah, once you get up there, it's pretty flat, right? I don't know. Maybe it's not. I haven't been up. The, the plan was not to put buildings on the top of that hill. No, I think it's, just the topography itself is challenging for placing In, in the back. There's buildings. still a hill in the back. It's nothing oh, like right. the big hill you see in the front. Right. Okay. If you um, that like, when we went through that. the modeling exercise, Brian, I think there was a lot of places to put buildings up there. Not a, not if you're looking at the parcel on the right where the hill slopes up drastically behind the greenhouse. Yeah, that's open. That's open space. Right, but the other once you get up there. Actually, I do remember if you if you think of the property, it was kind of like the bottom right. Wasn't there something like maybe they would have you could have garage under or something? Did it did it slope off again there? Am I remembering that correctly? It does slope off. Yeah. But I thought I thought there was like a pretty considerable plateau for a street and you know the, Yeah. You know. As you go yeah. as you go further back in the parcel, that's yep. where it flattens out. On right. the left side of the parcel. Yep. Yeah, that's uh, yes. So I, I just don't understand is, why that that would be a, a negative for that one compared to the other side because the other side's tighter, you know. Um, Do you want me to? Is there any other change other than the building placement? No, I think those other ones were are fair. Okay. Yeah. But what about so? What about the green topography? Do we need to, I mean, could we just say relatively level site? We can.
I guess under soils information, that is really about drainage, which is the topic above it. Um, we don't really have any so much soils information out there from the soils maps, do we? Um, I think, um, well, the NAP property has had... NAP has, yes. I mean, has, yeah. Yeah. So should we just take this one out and assume that that's... Well, do we want to add it into drainage? I mean, it really was a drainage thing. Or, I, I don't know, maybe it doesn't matter. Well, I mean, the drainage is part of the topography. So somewhere... Right. Okay. You should note that neighbors are concerned. Okay. Well, it could be under soils, but it's all kind of all one topic, isn't it? Yeah. Just we have to capture it someplace. You're right. So where, where are we going to put that? I put it under the drainage. There. Oh, I see. I'm sorry. I didn't see that. No, yeah. you're good. <laughs> Oops. Okay. Yep, that's good. I would I would delete the first considerable there. You've got it there <laughs> twice. Did we did you just talk about that? I'm sorry. Yeah, I didn't think we needed so much considerableness. <laughs> or considerate group. We we have concern, but we're not sure it's considerable. <laughs> okay. Well. There you go. That's yeah. fine. Yeah, it does that. It's really better. The spirit of it. Oh, yep, yep. So when we say best perk location for Dunn, we are going by soils maps. Um, um, and I, I think a discussion with Paul Savini in opinion. Okay, so we have some basis for so saying. It's, yeah. There, that, where it says best perk location, I would say may conflict with best location for housing. Mm -hmm. So here's, I'm just, this is really crazy. I sort of feel like the, the soils information category should move down a box to 23. And then all that other stuff is really about stormwater and drainage, um, including what's currently in F22. Oh, about on, on the, on, on the uh, nap. Yeah, that's a good that point, sure. Makes sense. You're collecting stormwater and yeah, it's all drainage. So that can just scoot up there with yep. drainage. Yep. See what I mean, Sue, the nap uh, cell F22 and move up into 21. Oh, I can merge those. Yes. There's a quicker way I should have. It's driving crazy. Are we good? Yeah. yeah. Nice. Oils, vegetation. Again, on vegetation under NAP, we don't need to say compared to done site. That's what we're doing. We're comparing. Yep. May need to be cut, though, vegetation is not mature? Well, I think it's- The owner said. I'd, I'd rather okay. say the owner said. All right. Not not us. Okay. Unless we have Fred go over and take a look. Okay, I'm confused. Under the build-out potential? Yep. 
Um, so I just made some assumptions. Um, I, I looked at, um, I took out. Well, under current zoning. Yeah. Yes. What we have today. Okay. Potential under okay. current. Okay. 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 Gosh. I was think I'm just so far into MBTA that I didn't even see that word current. <laughs> Sorry about the compressor kicking in. I I really hesitate to have this. Yeah, is this needed? How, what does this add? And here's why. I mean, if if we say that the maximum is 12 to 15 units, then we're telling the state that we know we're not no, no, Ray. That's no, under no, no. This current, is for zoning. current zoning. That's your that's making the same mistake I did. That's uh, why. Uh, okay. But that's I'm not sure. So, so what was your thinking, Sue or whoever Dylan included this? <laughs> that, that then. I don't want to throw you under the bus, Tim. <laughs> Tim oh, asked me if me? I could. Yeah. <laughs> Tim, uh, Tim asked me if I could so. kind of put in a comparison. Oh, about the build-up potential. About yeah, the build but it wasn't. Potential. It was more the under the potential. Zoning district, not so much. Sorry. Oh, not for uh, current. You want me to take this out then? Is yes. everyone happy with that? Yep. Uh, yeah, that's it's fine. I open a whole can of worms and people say, well, let's just do that then. We don't right? want to. Right. Well, that wouldn't make us, that wouldn't uh, it's do a, anything it's for us, would it? <laughs> wouldn't, uh, wouldn't we wouldn't it, be I, on compliance? Again, this this one, I, 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 I wouldn't have this line in there. I think I know what you're saying, Ray, just from uh, like the political part of it. Um, but, you know, people are going to ask, like, you know, what practically can be, what do you think? Could well, be we, we've sort of got that covered in the fact. And there's no difference. Between they are the saying there, there's no now. difference between yeah. them, it seems so, anyway. So yeah. what you're really trying to do is to use this as a decision making tool, something that's just a matter of fact whereby we've sized the districts to give a similar result is not demonstrative of a direction, right? So yeah, right. there's more than one. It's gone. Well, it was a we fun exercise it, for me gone. anyway, Tim. What's that? <laughs> I said it was a fun exercise for me <laughs> anyway. <laughs> That's why Tim yeah, was I mean, it, being on the board. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you could you could see how I understand how that could go off on a tangent, you know, people saying, Oh boy, you know, you could avoid this and that. And yeah, we don't want to go in that direction. Yeah. So is it true that it's still an agricultural use? Um, it is st still being hayed. It's being hayed. Oh. And they they grew corn or on corn. the upper I hill. Okay. Beg your pardon. Okay. Our corn, I think, um, this summer. Oh. Okay. okay. I I don't know about the back area, but I did see it up on the the immediate hill. Okay. Well, so I guess good. the big question is, is it demonstrative to you? Is it helpful? <laughs> yeah, it is. Is it a good decision-making tool? Well, I don't know about that, but... No, it's... It, it, it's, it's... Oh, uh, 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 cell F24. F24. Consider readable knowledge. Uh... <laughs> She's determined to get that word in there. <laughs> But uh, I I think this is this is helpful, and not only that. I mean, you can show this to anybody who wonders if we've considered these different issues. Yeah, it's good to have it on record. Yes. Well, and I think it's good to demonstrate some of the thought process behind this. That there's not a, you know, an obvious winner, and it isn't arbitrary. That's the real thing. You know, there you go. That's right. So, good. All right. I think that's. Can you circulate this back to us, Sue? I certainly can, yes. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, let's continue. I've got a couple of comments here in general on this. Um, and Sue, you, you and I can talk about this, but I'm, I'm interested in 
and maybe we should, you, you have to call Dylan. Mm -hmm. um, do we have any other feedback or in terms of towns that are submitting this year, um, whether they're doing more than one area? I do. You do. The town, oh, of Newbury, the town of Newbury has proposed theirs, and you can go to their town website and see a map with their districts. Okay. So they they have it. A... Uh, they've got a bunch of parcels that are basically right along Route 1, just south of the traffic circle, you know, just over the Newburyport line. And then they've got another bunch way down on the other end of Route 1, including the giant office building off of the exit there. Oh, is that right? On the other side of the road. Yep. Yeah, there are two that, that actually... uh, big chunks on either side of hmm. Route 1. The, and... the office thing. Well, that'll, that, yeah, that, that's not a, that's an interesting idea there, actually, converting yeah. something like that and whatnot. So they took things that were very much on the edge of their town and very much existing commercial or adjacent to commercial. Right property okay. although interestingly the one um beyond beyond the traffic circle on the right hand side was actually um evaluated as a 40-hour site maybe close to 15 plus years ago mm -hmm. so it was considered for housing has been considered for housing for some time mm -hmm. no i'm not saying it's inappropriate particularly yeah. given what's gone on at the train station well uh, yeah no it's absolutely but that would definitely of, support it. A chunk of it that goes all the way over on the street that I can never think of the name of, Hanover Street, mm -hmm. off to the school. Oh, wow. It's a big chunk of that neighborhood. Yeah. That's the only one I've seen. Hmm. Okay. Be good if we, um, and I maybe check, I can I check. Re reach out to the uh, the guy in Boxford. I'm curious what the heck they're doing. I can reach out to to neighbors and see if they're doing multiples. Um, it, yeah, just, I mean, if they have sewage, it's a different deal. And it's more the septic uh, yeah. folks, how they're looking at this. And I'm uh, not sure how many are as far along as we are, but Newbury yeah. is, yeah. Yeah. So we'll, we'll, we'll continue to look at that. Um, the other option, the other option, the other item, um, I believe Sue was um, contacted by the owners of Knapp, a parcel by their representative, John Sarkis, um, with a question about the district outline that has been placed on that parcel. And the comment was that it, it might impact adequate septic development and could the line be moved at this juncture um not made bigger or whatever but the line itself be moved in some fashion so i i wanted to talk to the board about that aren't we acquire wouldn't this pertain to the whole piece or are they trying to reserve a piece well, it, it's, Other no, that. it's the whole, it's the whole parcel, Deb, but how we've structured the, um, the, the part, the part of District. that parcel to be developed on that land. Oh. Okay. He would like the lines adjusted so that right now the area that Perkwell has supposedly houses on it, they, they want to shift it a bit. That's my understanding. Well, this could come up with any parcel in this town. Yeah. I know, and I, I soil I, conditions I, and septic. So, is there a way? Is this a question for Dylan? Is there a way to? Well, I know I don't know if something in the bylaw Dylan, that, but... yeah, that gives us any flexibility on that as a site condition. Right. So, um, Dylan has kind of talked about this with um, uh, EO HLC. <laughs> housing and living communities. And he is going back to them and he hasn't gotten very far with them to date, but he's going back with them. He's actually meeting with them again tomorrow to discuss whether there's a way to rezone kind of like all of the portion um, and but, it, but limit the development to um, 
a total of 90 units, so no more than. So he's not entirely hopeful, but he's he's really has laid out the case of why this would allow flexibility and make a um, development to be more likely um, to run into, you know, less likely to run into hurdles if they're allowed that flexibility to say anywhere on this parcel that it works best, provided that it is still 15 units an acre, provided that um, it is no more than 90 acres. So we'll see what he gets for that. Um, otherwise, yeah. I think it's a matter of if we were given the information that the lot line should change, but the size would remain the same, would the, would the board want to consider that before or after we bring it, to, you know, before bringing it to town vote or would it, you know, would it just be one of those things that you would live with and try to come back with if you don't know the full story in a timely manner? Well, from a practical point of view, it makes sense to be able to move things around. From Especially the, with the septic, right? You from know, a, From yeah. a political point of view, it begins to to have a kind of a small b small s bait and switch quality about it um that you told us it wasn't going to be anywhere near our houses and now mm. look what's happening so i'm concerned yeah yeah also, well it, it, it is concerning i mean but you know this is a this is a lot of, there's a lot of there's a lot of moving parts that no one has gone down the, this path on before yeah and and, and uh, I, I my, my that was my, I think Ray. My thought was just like yours, like oh geez, how can we be seen doing this? Mm -hmm. um, but I, I'm just bringing it to your attention, and and we have turned Dylan loose to try to clarify this. Yeah, um, I didn't want to leave you, you know, in the dark on on what I had heard. Yeah, um, I'm, I'm going to be interested. I'm going to be interested to see what he comes up with. I I don't. I don't know if you can do this legally. You know, have, I, I mean, if, having flexibility makes sense, but I, I don't know that you can have the flexibility and get through town meeting and then keep the flexibility. Well, so I, I think I, if the state is interested in getting these, this thing done, and I don't mean done with, with the parcel, uh, they got to recognize that there are issues with towns with septic systems. It's not just a, it's not just plug it into the pipe and you're good yeah. to go. Yeah. So uh, yeah, we'll see. I, I yeah, it, it it was an interesting comment from a uh, you know a party that I think is interested in this. I I, I know they're interested, um, yeah. but uh, I'm just you know now you know what I know basically. Yeah. Well, I hope that the subset of the whatever it is, 155 towns, is is enough of a septic <laughs> component to it that we can I, even get I, your attention. You know, I don't know what the split is, but my guess would be a third. Probably, I'm just that's really? off the top of my head. Ooh, I, mean, I don't know. I have no idea. You know, well, you know. Yeah, a lot of the towns have both, right? They'll have town yeah. sewer and then they have septic. So I think as far as strictly septic, it's probably not all that many. No, it's not in the eastern part of the state. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, that as I said, that, that came up uh, late last week. Okay. Um, okay, we can move along. This is good. Good progress. Um, there are no minutes. There was some correspondence you can run through if you wish, Sue, or or not. Do you want me to share? Sure. I mean, if, unless you know, I read them over. I didn't see anything that was particularly relevant to us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, they've got their hearing yeah, tomorrow at Newbury, right? right. Their hearing. Oh, and they're getting to their tower too. Wow, well, they're all over it. Um, and a, a butter's notice for 
something on Plum Island. Still building and combining on Plum Island. Mining lots. Full, yeah. full speed ahead. <laughs> Get the sandbags. Oh, fun seems to be <laughs> standing yeah. by now. Fun yeah. seems like, to be really? the same. Above ground level. I mean, that's, yeah. that's the key. <laughs> oh boy. Now this we like to see, mixed use, commercial and residential. Mm. Downtown smart growth overlay district. Yeah, watch that, that that's, yeah, yeah. Right along the water there, right? Yeah. yeah. Groveland for a motor vehicle repair shop. Okay. It all sounds perfectly as you would expect in all right. right. And that's the end. Okay. Right. Very good. Um, any administrative details, Sue? That... Um, what? Oh, yes, actually, there is. Let me stop sharing. Um, one thing that came up today, Drake's Landing would like to close out. I think we have done everything that we need to do with the exception of um, I don't think they've requested the, or we haven't given back the, um, I think it's around $3,000 in their escrow account. But is there anything else that I'm missing that needs to be done for them to close out? They have the as built. They've. I don't know. You're the keeper of the checklist. I'm just yeah. saying. I, yeah, I, I say let's, let's go back through and, and let's see if they have any. So they provided a list of any open issues that, in fact, are related to us. I know they yeah. certainly still have open issues, but yeah. things that are related to us. I have doubt a... that there are. According but... to our peer reviewer, there are not. Okay. And has he, they've been paid, Meridian's been paid for everything? Yes. In fact, I think their last was almost a year okay. now. Well, I'd say let's, let's bring this on, on you know, with... Well, we can make a motion at the next meeting. Okay. And uh, we'll give you one one other shot just to jiggle jiggle the files and make sure we're 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 okay before we turn the money go over. Okay. This is money that goes back to Chip, right? Yes. 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 I remember. Chip. Check with could check with Michelle. If there's anything that she's still tracking that would be our responsibility. My understanding is that she, they've gotten everything closed from her. Good. Great. Yeah. Good. Good. Not bad. Okay. Um, anybody have anything else they want to discuss or problems? I, I did send everybody a, you know, my, my thing about the flapping signs. So it's a, Oh, yeah. The old Pearson's garage there. So, oh yeah. Uh, they, they're not up for the on the weekend. They take them in apparently, but they were back up today. So, and you know, Sam Brian, I, I was thinking if I just got one of those dancing air guys. <laughs> yeah. But but without without any advertising purpose, without any text, mm -hmm. then it doesn't qualify as a sign. I figured I. I could have like a twenty foot one on my front yard. <laughs> you have a whole you have twenty of them. <laughs> twenty of them, yes. That's that's good. It'd be a yeah, a rave at the at Dance six party. lane. Dance party at Ray's. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, it's unfortunate. I mean, there there are signs that advertise the fact that they're a state inspection station. They're lovely. they 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 couldn't have been cheap. They're they look like they're well done. But you know. Yeah. Well, they're just mm -hmm. temporary flags, though. They they go up and they go down. I used to use them for real estate. Well, not as big okay. as that. But real estate gets a separate sort of an a separate. I, yeah, we uh, yeah. Really temporary. Yeah, they yeah. are you, you always do. state inspection system. Uh, yeah, this, this, that's not temporary. No, I mean, talk about changing the view coming down Main Street with the two yeah. big yellow things flapping there. It's they are. It, it's not good. Dear. But Sam is back in the office next week, and he said he'd look at it. So okay, we'll see. Um, okay, uh, that's it for the tonight, the month, yep. and uh, move we adjourn. Thank you all. Uh, move, move to adjourn. Second. Second. All in favor. 
Ray Cook I. Zero. We wait goodbye. Mm -hmm. Thank okay. you, everybody. Good night, all. Good night. Good night. Take care. Good night.